Hi, how you doing? Okay, so Stoicism versus Nihilism. So we've already established that there's not a man in the sky, and there's no such a thing as a book that's the word of that man in the sky, and that, that there's no such a thing as a perfect person, you know, and so, so the, um, and we've established that, uh, like the, the, far, the right wing is, is fascist. So, so now the question is like, what do we do? So like as applied to like being transgender, you know, like, so like if, uh, you know, stoicism says, so, so you believe you're transgender, then uh, transition because you might regret it if you don't, you know, the future belongs to the one that prepares for it. Um, and nihilism says, no, it takes too long, it's too hard, and some people regret it. Don't even do it. You know, so, obviously I, I lean mostly in the, in the, the stoic direction. I, I think that, the, you know, nihilism it can be like, like after you're done transitioning, for example, you know, I'm making an example of being transgender, after, after that, maybe it is good to be a little bit more nihilistic, but still, you know, you, you got to be somewhat stoic, you know, like you got to have a diet and a workout or you're just going to get overweight and unhealthy, you know. If, if, you, if you're just completely nihilistic about everything, you know, and you let other people do your thinking for you and, and you're not a free thinker and all things like that, then, you know, you're, you're not taking the bull by the horns, you know. So yeah, you, you, you only live once and, and you might not exist, there might not be a life after death and all that, but... And so Stoicism and Nihilism are a lot alike on that, you know, that, that you gotta, you know, uh, make the most of your time, but Nihilism says, though, why try? Because you may, it might not be worth it, but Stoicism says, you know, the future belongs to the one who prepares for it, you know, let's, let's, uh, you know, like, uh, something bad might come from, from not doing anything, and, and, and so that's what life's taught me, is that you, you regret it. If you don't put an effort into yourself, you, you end up regretting it, because the things that you thought were so fantastic, like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you know, it, like when you're a teenager, they're just so fun, but, you know, there's gonna come a time when it's like, you know, you're like, you know, the sex, you know, is, isn't, it's, you're getting, you know, you've been there, done that more, more than you thought you were getting to, the, the drugs, all of it, you know, you're gonna be like, man, I'm sick of always being hung over, you know, so I think that uh, the far right's religious approach in, of, on theology is a lot, is the nihilistic, you know, they're, they're saying, you know, like, listen to what they're saying, you know, like, don't take any chances, just give all your money to us and, and then just keep doing exactly what you're told, you know. But that, uh, that doesn't really get you anything that, that's ever going to, that, you know, you're not really living for yourself. You're not really introspecting and, 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 and deciding what you want and going for it.